Hi everyone, welcome along to this week's Quick Fix. This is a question that I get asked re probably more than any other at the moment, is how do I rub out the pencil marks once I've painted over them? Well, today I'm gonna to tell you all my secrets of how I do it. So the first thing is the type of pencil I use is a regular HB pencil. And the other things I use is, I don't use just one, I use two different erasers. This is a kneadable eraser. Some people know it as a putty rubber. It's a squidgy uh, eraser. And then this is a hard eraser. Um, I use the Koh-i-Noor um, natural rubber eraser. And this two-toned eraser means this side is meant for pencil and this side is meant for ink. However, I have just found this to be the most fantastically effective eraser in rubbing out pencil. So let me talk you through how I do it. So I need to begin by drawing something in pencil. So a, a classic flower situation would be uh, doing the stem, center, but I'll, I'll do a bit more pencil. I'll actually uh, draw in the leaves and I will draw in a few petals. Now, the first thing to note is that I am drawing relatively lightly. If you could draw really, really faint, that's gonna make your life much easier. But if, like me, you get halfway through a painting or a drawing and you forget that you've meant to have been drawn, drawing really lightly, the first stage before I even do any painting is I actually give the drawing a light rubbing out with the kneadable eraser. Now on film, this may now make the pencil very difficult to see, but in person, I can see it just fine, but the lines are now, now really faint, so it means that I've just got the bare minimum of what I need. So now it comes the painting time. I'm going to, uh, as with all watercolour, we start with our lightest colours first and build the colours up. So I'm going to paint in my petals with a fairly dilute wash. It's not that pale though, of um, permanent rose. And I'm going to be mindful of the fact that my colour is fairly dilute because this means whilst, because it's dilute, I can still see the pencil underneath, it also means that it's gonna be a lot easier for me to rub out any pencil afterwards because I've not painted too heavily. Obviously, this doesn't mean you're limited to only ever painting really lightly for the rest of your days. Just add in a bit of orange there. But it does mean that we go up in stages. I'm gonna add in some leaves and a stem in this same fairly translucent consistency and then we can look at the next stage. This is what I call the end of the basic wash stage because everything has been colored in essentially. So everything has been painted. So if I remove the pencil now, I would still know exactly what the shape was. Everything's been painted in, so we're not gonna lose anything. So this is the point, once it's 100% dry, that I come in with the hard eraser. And I first use the pale end and after a little bit of focused rubbing out when everything on my table wobbles, the pencil that is still on the page is coming away really nicely. But there's always a few stubborn bits and so for that, I get the other side of the, pen, of the rubber. And I know it's meant for ink. This isn't its true purpose, but it does an amazing job of getting rid of any last stubborn bits of pencil. And we have now revamped our watercolor kits on my Etsy shop, and I now include this rubber in the watercolour kit, so head over there and grab yourself an, a new set. Um, but yeah, so that is how we rub it out. But then that's not all, because what I want to talk to you about now is 
once you've rubbed out that pencil, you've got everything you need here. You can see all the different shapes and things. This is the point where I would start to add a little bit more detail. Because I know that there's no pencil for me to worry about rubbing out now. If I'd left the pencil unrubbed out at the previous stage and then went on to paint in a more concentrated manner over the top like this, I would have issues rubbing out all the pencil like I just did. But because I did it at that basic wash stage, it means that I don't have a problem. And now I can finish off my painting and put in all these concentrated colours and yeah, be able to create all kinds of detail that I want and not worry about pencil lines. So I hope this has been useful. Um, like I say, it is the question I get asked the most, so it's obviously something that's weighing on your minds. It's a combination of having the right kit. Oh, I beg your pardon, we've got, <laughs> we've got builders in. Uh, it's a combination of having the right kit and ordering your painting so that you're always one step ahead of the pencil lines. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again next time.